How's it going? As you probably know, I'm a big fan of LEDs. My preferred method for controlling LEDs is using a little Wi-Fi board like a Node MCU or D1 Mini. And by far, the best software that i found for controlling LEDs is WLED. And WLED just keeps getting better and better and better. The latest version added a much improved user interface, more effects and palettes to choose from, and improved stability. But the hardware, that is the D1 Mini and the Node MCUs, they haven't really changed. Those little boards are exactly the same as they were three or four years ago. But fortunately, one of our good friends, Quindor, has designed a booster board that adds a bunch of really great features. He calls it the Dig Uno. The difference between a regular D1 Mini and a Dig Uno is kind of like the difference between a Corolla and a Lexus. Maybe you're familiar with the Dig Uno already, but if you aren't, here's a list of the reasons I think it's awesome. For one thing, it adds a logic level shifter that boosts the voltage of the data signal. So you can put your controller a long ways away from your LEDs. Without that logic level shifter, if you're just using a D1 Mini or a Node MCU, you have to put the controller right next to the LEDs. Sometimes that's not a problem. Other times it's a big problem. So logic level shifter, big thumbs up. It also has a voltage regulator that lets you use 12 volt power supply and 12 volt LEDs. But the D1 Mini that sits on top of the Dig Uno still gets the five volts that it needs without exploding. The Dig Uno also has reverse polarity protection. Without that, if you accidentally swap the plus and the minus wires on your D1 Mini, your controller is toast. Don't ask me how I know. The Dig Uno also includes a fuse so that if you add too many LEDs, or if somehow you end up with a short, it won't melt or catch on fire. The Dig Uno was designed to be homemade. Quindor has a great website that shows you all the parts you need and explains each step with pictures and videos. I've built a few of them and it usually takes me about 30 minutes. Oh, you don't believe me? Here's proof. Building one of these really isn't too bad. If you want to build one for yourself, you'll probably spend about $10 on parts. But that is just an estimate, and it depends a lot on how many parts you buy and where you buy them. It's easy for me to say it's easy to make one of these, because I've done it. But I understand that not everybody has the skills or the desire. Great news. Pre-assembled Dig Uno boards are available for sale. If you live in the US or Canada, you can get them at my website. If you live outside the US or Canada, Quindor sells them on his website. In the short time that we've been selling these pre-assembled Dig Uno boards, they've continued to sell out quickly. So if you check the website, 
and they're sold out, give us a few days, maybe a week or two, and check again. We're cranking them out as fast as we can. Whether you're an LED veteran or just getting started, the Dig Uno and WLED are fantastic. There's nothing else out there that does everything that this combo of hardware and software can do. If you want to get started playing around with LEDs, get yourself a DigiUno and WLED and you won't regret it. That's all for now. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time, adios.